Once you have a drawing, a project selected, and you're in the drawing itself that you need to edit and start working on, I want to go over the drawing functions of the PLC 400. Now, the one caveat to this, or the one, the one thing I want to say about this is, the software is always updating and improving. Hilti Software Back Office is extremely good of responding to customers' uh, needs and what they're hearing from the field. And so always make sure, like I said, when you get a chance, put this on Wi-Fi and see if there's an update. I would say do it monthly. There might be, you know, they, they, uh, they come out with updates as regularly as they can to keep the software improving. But I'm gonna go ahead and work on this project. And once I activate, once I press that check mark, it comes back to the screen. And even though it doesn't say anything, I know that that project I just selected is my active project, right? So here I am on 321. I'm on this job, I'm gonna say check. It comes back to the screen, I know that that's the one I'm working on. Now, I don't have a tool connected to my tablet right now. The way I know that is if you look up here at the batteries, the bottom battery is indicating my tablet charge, the top battery is indicating my the charge of my unit. If it's completely blank, it's either you've got a completely dead battery or you're just not connected yet. Usually it just means you're not connected yet because if you had a little bit of power, you would show a tiny white bar there no matter what. So now that I know that I'm connected, I'm gonna just show you in this video what the drawing functions are. So I'm not gonna go into stationing or layout or even settings. I wanna go into just what drawing is. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into drawing and it pulls up this window. The left square right here is your view tab. If I swipe that down, all the different ways that I can edit my view of this CAD file are right here. So if I wanna have a square box, if I tap that I can zoom in if I come back over here and I say, hey, zoom extents, it comes right back out, right? I tap that, it comes right back out, right? I can, if I had a 3D drawing, I could tap the side, it'll show me my side view. I want a top down view. Okay, so just play around with that. This is your view tab. And I, if I tap this, it's nice. I can actually wee, rotate it around, okay? So that's your view tab, very self-explanatory. This tab is your draw tab. That's what I call it, draw tab. So I'm gonna swipe down. You're gonna see all different different options I can use to draw. Most of the time, the, 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 the button you're going to be using the most is this one right here, point creation, right, where you're going to be creating points. You have point creation, you have creating points based off an offset, where you can tap a point and take, tell it to go at a certain offset at that point. This one is you can tap a line and tell it to give you offset points from that line. And then here is a segment. You can segment a line by segment lengths. I'll go through them one by one, but it's pretty simple. Draw tab, I'm gonna show you how to get here again. The middle tab, swipe down, all of your draw functions are right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with point creation because that's mostly what you're gonna be using. I'm gonna tap point creation and it comes back to the screen and the first thought that comes to your mind is, well, what do I do now? I don't see anything. Well, there's two things I wanna point your mind to. On the left side, this little arrow, is the menu of points that you've already created. I have not created any, so it's blank, but I'll show you how that populates as we go on. So I'm gonna close this by expanding it and closing it again. The right side is my menu for this current tab. So if I open up this menu, it says, okay, here I am in point creation. What do I want to do in point creation, right? Do you see that? So if I close this, I can work in my screen, but if I want to edit kind of what I'm doing, I open this up and tell it what I'm doing. So in my case, I'm going to create some points. Let's say I want to create some points that I want to lay out. So I can name these points whatever I want. Let me say, usually I keep them LP, meaning layout points. And I start, I'll start with the number one. And as I go up and create more points, that number is going to go to two, three, four, and five automatically for me, which is nice. I'm going to create a layout point. And how do I want to create the points? Well, because this is a CAD, the software is able to find your endpoints, your midpoints, your center points, however I want to choose it. I'll start with endpoints. And I'll say, okay, I want to create, let's say, a layout point on this drywall track here in the middle. I'll zoom in. Okay, so I have this drywall here. I'll go ahead and tap the green line, I guess, is my track. I'll tap the top. It puts an endpoint at the top. And then I will go ahead and go to the bottom. And I'll tap again at the bottom. And there I have my two points for that drywall track. Pretty simple. I'll do the same for the top. Point here, and I'll put another point right there. So now I have four points there. I'll go ahead and save those. Total points added are four. They'll show up here, and if I pull up my points menu, there they are. 
all four of them showing up right there. Okay, very simple, very simple. So now let's say I want to create some center points. I could have all these selected, by the way, but that's kind of, re um, for me, I, I, I miss press a lot, and so I like to kind of do one by one. Let's say center points, I'll zoom in. Let's see, I have a circle over here. Let's see if I tap this here. Put this <clears throat> point in the middle of my, my circle. I think that's a block. Okay, so I can save that point, and there I have the, the tool guiding me right to the center of that cast and sleeve. Great. So pretty self-explanatory. Play with this however you want to, but that's what these are doing. I could put it in intersections, right? So let's say I want to create a control point at the intersection of my grid lines, for instance. So I'll say intersection, control point. Here these red lines are. I'll play as my, inter my uh, grid lines on the floor for my surveyor. I'll tap one line, tap another, tap one line. There's two points right there at the intersections. I'll say check. And here my control points show up. CP2, CP1. Those are the ones I can use to actually set the station up because I know that they're known points on the ground. And here we are, CP1, CP2 show up at the top, and then it goes down to layout points. Okay, so I'm able to create every single point I need to get started. I have my control points in here, my layout points in here, and I'm good to go. Okay, so that's point creation. Okay, point creation, menu, everything you want to do right here, good to go. Okay, okay, now let's go into offset real quick. I'll show you how this works again when you tap. Any button, it's going to come up to a blank screen for you to start working. It assumes that you know what you're doing, obviously. But here I have these layout points. And let's say I want to create an offset from one of these points. I'll pull out my menu again. Whatever point I want to create, I'm going to create a layout point. And it says, okay, well, here I am at this point here, LP4. It highlighted, highlights it red. I can highlight any one I want. I'm going to say create a point that is one foot directly north of it and one foot directly east of it. I could do whatever offset I want. I'll say check. Right, and then I'll close this out so you can see it. Right there's that red point. I'll say check, and you'll see it now just created that offset point. Again, it's only working in this case for this offset, creating a point directly north or east of it according to the CAD. There's another route you can go if you need to do angles, and I'll go over that later. But that's how you get that offset point. That's how you use that function. Very simple. And then here, offset lines. Right, so again, comes up to a blank screen when I tap it. I'll go ahead and tap a line. Okay, it already is populating some points for me, but let me show you how it's doing that. Let me zoom out so you can see a little better. Okay, so I'm going to open up my menu. Here's my points, offset point creation. I'm going to create some layout points, and according to my line, it's asking me how far apart I want these, these points to be. So let me change this to just one foot each, so you can kind of see what it looks like. I want my points to be separated by one foot. Okay, obviously I have a ton more points now showing up. And I want them to be offset one foot or whatever I want. Okay, so there, there you go. It gives me a direct offset from my line, and every single point is exactly one foot off of that off of that line. I can just say check, added 12 layout points, and there you go, there you have it. This is really good, for instance, when you offset, let's say I want to offset this radius. Look at that, exactly one foot offset. I could, can, if I needed to create that exact radius in the field, done, right, at that, at that offset. I hope, that self, I hope that makes sense. All right, so now I'm going to jump into this final one, segmented line. So now it works the same way as you just saw. I'll tap a line, but instead of doing the offset, it does the opposite. It, do, it does it right on the line. So now layout point, but I can do something a little bit more unique now. I can separate it by an exact number of segments. So I can segment the line equal to five segments, four segments, or I can choose to say I'm going to give it a segment length and tell it to give me a segment length of, uh, let's say, uh, one foot each, right? Okay, and then it'll segment it out for me. Super convenient. Oh, I typed that one too. So I can tap at all the lines I want, and it'll segment all of them that many times. Pretty self-explanatory. Just play around with that. Okay, so I have all those. That's point creation. That's how you create all your points, and... It's super convenient. Now let me jump into really quickly these CAD drawing functions. If I tap draw, right now all this all this is is connecting two points. If I want to connect these two points by a line and create a line, I'll say check. Voila, I just created a CAD line in my own CAD, and now I can go ahead and segment that line if I need to, or I can create a point at an intersection of that line if I need to. Right, so here we go, I'll create an intersection of these two lines. It'll generate a point, right? 
So that's how that's convenient. You can draw lines within your own CAD by using this function, right? Point 0.1 to point 0.2, right? You see how I'm doing that? It's just jumping around. That's all that does and play around with that. I'll go ahead and delete that line. Check. Gone. All right. What if I can delete? Yeah, you can delete lines you create, but you can't delete lines of the original CAD. Okay. So that's what that draw function is. This one's pretty self-explanatory. If I give it three points, it'll give me an exact radius on those three points to fit that circle. All right. If I give it two points and a radius, I can select two points. And over here, I can say specify radius of whatever I want. I might be, my math might be way off for this radius to work. Yep, yeah, too small. Um, but if you know the two points and the radius that they're supposed to fall on, you can specify it, and it'll create that for you. All right? And then here, if I give it three points, it'll close the circle for me instead of just giving me an arc. All right? That's it. That's how simple that is. And if I, let me say, I'll go ahead and save that cat entity, and then if I say, oops, I didn't mean to create that, I'll go over here, press delete. I can delete actual things I've drawn on the file. All right? I went that there pretty quick, but draw points between draw a line between points, create an arc with three points in your CAD, give, two, give it two points and a radius and it'll create an arc, give it three points and it'll create a circle, delete things you've drawn. Point creation, I went through these, and then these options down here, Kogo, okay? First one is I want distance between two points, again comes up to a blank screen, I want a distance from this point to this point, I open up my menu, and it tells me all the information about those two points. Horizontal different distance, three feet. What's the angle it's coming at, etc. Okay. One thing that, that's nice about this, I'll go ahead and keep that window open for a second. Let's say I wanted to know the distance from, of this point from this line. I could tap the line instead, and it'll tell me the exact offset from that line, and it also how far away I am from how far down this line I am to get to that point. Right. I'm six foot four from, I believe, one of these corners. I have to, I'll have to figure that out. Okay. But it, the thing is, I know that I'm 12 feet away from that line. Pretty nice, right? Okay. Now you got to be a little careful because watch. Let's say I want to get. Let's say I want to know uh, my distances from this point to this point here. Sometimes you accidentally mispress and you press the line instead of the actual point, All right? So just kind of be careful with that. It's something I know that the uh, software team at LT is probably trying to figure out to get it a little bit more easy to press. You know, different fun entities. But again, it'll it'll get worked out as you go. The nice thing is it works as it goes. And then here, angles, right? If I just want to tap two lines and I discover their, uh, I mean, two points and discover their angles to a third point. Bam, bam, bam. LP4 is the uh, middle one. That's a 64 degree angle. So it's a nice way to check your angles as well between points as well. Oh. Area, I believe I could just tap points and it'll give me the area of those points as well. Right? Perimeter, area, everything. Okay. Information, I guess I could tap an entity, and it'll give me the information of that entity on the CAD. I think I can tap anything. Yep. Align. All right. I don't know how often you'd use that, but that's how those things work. So that is how to use the draw and the view functions on the PLC 400.